Isn't it awesome to play with a development board that has a touch panel and shows nice graphics with good resolution? Today in this video, I'm going to review this new THMI development board from Lilygo. And we are going to discuss this board hardware in details in order to see what it is capable of. So this tutorial is going to be a good introduction for awesome future projects. We have got a touch screen to play with today, so without any further ado, let's jump on in. Turn your dream project into reality with PCBWay. I've personally used their services to produce my own prototype for future IoT projects. Ordering your own PCB has never been easier before, with a lot of features. They also have open source community, so there are many projects to have a look at. Find the link in the description. Alright, so here I have the THMI development board uh, from Lilygo. Uh, the board has the ESP32 S3 with a screen that has a resistive touch uh, panel on it. So let's open up the uh, box and see the board that we have. So since we have resistive touch panel, uh, we need uh, such a stylus because the resistive touch is not as good as the capacitive touch so here I have the board uh, you will also have this uh, growth connector and the battery connector along with the development board so here we can see the uh, ESP32 S3 microcontroller and it's connected to 16 megabyte uh, NOR flash memory and here we have a, a LiPo battery charging circuitry. So we have these two connectors. One of them is used for the battery and the other one uh, is used to get uh, five volt DC. And of course here we have a USB type C at the middle. Uh, and here I have the uh, XPT2046 uh, touch panel uh, controller. So since we have a resistive touch panel, uh, it has uh, four pins uh, output. They are analog pins. They are connected to this integrated circuit that will convert the 4-pin analog data uh, into SPI and then all the uh, touch coordinates uh, will be uh, sent to the MCU uh, over SPI. We will have a look at the schematics uh, of this board so we can have a better idea. Of course, uh, the board has uh, three buttons here. Uh, we have here uh, growth connectors if you want to interface some external uh, sensor. So on the other side here we have a 2.8 uh, inch uh, display. The TFT is interfaced uh, over parallel connection. 8 pins. So let's uh, remove the screen protector. And let's connect it to the USB. Yeah, uh, so here we can see that uh, the MCU has uh, an internal PS RAM uh, of 8 megabytes and we have the flash as we have said uh, uh, 16 megabytes. So I can uh, press this button in order to navigate the menu. So here I have this nicely looking watch. Then uh, here we have some meters. So this is showing the uh, temperature of the MCU. So of course, this user interface design is done using LVGL library. I've made several videos regarding LVGL library. I've made several videos regarding uh, LVGL library and how to integrate it with ESP32. Um, so here we can use this stylus in order to draw something on the uh, screen, as we can see. So here I can change the uh, color of the pin. And here I can select the thickness uh, of the writing. So as an example for the use of uh, this growth connectors, uh, I can hook up uh, this uh, pin extension board that communicates with the MCU over I2C uh, and outputs uh, the data uh, to the 16 pins that it has. So I can hook it up uh, this way.
Yeah, and I can of course uh, use uh, some other sensors or other boards using these Grove uh, connectors. So, all right, so here we have the THMI uh, development board schematic document. So here at the top right, we have the esp 32 s 3 and we can see its uh, pin connections. Here we have the display connection pins, UART, these are the crystal pins. Uh, on the right, we have the uh, SPI connected to the NOR flash, where the uh, firmware of the ESP uh, is loaded. These GPIOs are connected to the uh, Grove connectors. Uh, here we have the USB. Uh, so uh, on this board, we have the USB is connected directly to the MCU. So once uh, the uh, USB is connected, the DFU mode uh, will be activated, the uh, device firmware upload mode. So the firmware is not loaded over UART, but it's loaded over USB directly. And this is actually a good advantage because, because the USB of the ESP32 is connected to the uh, G tag, so you can debug your code. Actually, I'm planning to do uh, a separate video about ESP32 debug, so stay tuned for that. Here we have the uh, SD card connection pins connected to the SDIO of the uh, MCU that we have and here we have the SPI pins that are connected to the resistive uh, touch panel uh, controller and it's over here it's actually nothing but an digital converter we'll discuss the functionality of this uh, integrated circuit in a minute so and here we have uh, the control pins of the LCD so here we have the chip select uh, of the LCD uh, and this is the uh, command and data uh, selection pin this is the I think uh, it's the clock pin of the uh, LCD and here we have uh, an external interrupt pin so let's have a look at the pins of the uh, lcd and here they are so here are the data pins they are eight pins here we have the chip select command data selection pin and the clock pin here we have the led cathode this is actually connected to this uh, led driver which is uh, nothing but the backlight of the uh, LCD. Uh, and here at the top, we have uh, four analog pins and they are connected to this uh, analog to digital converter. So uh, whenever you touch the uh, resistive panel, the voltage analog readings uh, will change depending on the coordinate where the touch has occurred. So depending on that, this analog data will be converted to digital data and then transferred to the MCU over SPI. So it can be encoded and the MCU can know where the touch event has occurred. Of course, at each touch event, this interrupt pin is activated. So the MCU uh, know that there is a new event to handle. On this side, of course, we see the uh, low pass filters in order to filter out the uh, analog pins of the touch panel. Other than that, here we have the uh, NOR flash connected to the SPI. And here we have the SD card socket. This is the LED driver for the uh, LCD backlight. So here we have the TP4056 uh, lithium ion battery uh, charging uh, circuitry. And last but not least, here we can see uh, the power circuitry. This is actually nothing but an LDO, low drop voltage. So it, it will take 5 volt uh, from USB or from any other source and then convert it to 3.3 uh, volt in order to feed uh, the MCU and any other integrated circuit on this board. So yeah, that's all uh, regarding the hardware that we have on the THMI board. Okay, so that was a good introduction about the hardware. Uh, that I'm planning to use in some of my projects in the future. Of course, you can find firmware examples uh, about the THMI uh, in the Lilygo uh, GitHub repository. So I will uh, post a link uh, into that page in the video description. So uh, this brings me to the end of my tutorial. If you have learned something new, please like this video, share it among your friends and tell them about use electronics. See you in the upcoming tutorials and bye bye.